Hey, what's going on? Welcome to the Podcast Accelerator, live from Podcast Movement 2019. My voice is on its way out, but on its way in is Mr. James Curridland from Pod News, joining me on the Accelerator. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing very well. I think, yes, I think you you and me both on the voice, but yeah, it's been, it's been a busy, busy conference, hasn't it? It gets very, very hectic, and the thing is as well, the parties are fantastic, the conversations are fantastic, but when you put the two together, yes. this is what you end up with. Exactly. So, James, as you know, is an advisor with Cap. Activate.fm, the world's only growth-oriented podcast host, or should it be the world's only growth-focused podcast host? And that is that is something to chat about. Something, yes, something to chat about later. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> Please go and check it out. And thank you to everyone that's been supporting us here at Podcast Movement. It's been a great show for Captivate. You can check it out, Captivate.fm. Um, so, James, you've been a very busy guy. You've been talking, yeah. I believe, number one, to everyone, number two, on every panel, number three, <laughs> Not in every quite. newsletter, and you've got your own film crew. So how's the show been for you? Yeah, it's, it's been really, really busy. Uh, so that, that's the one thing that I've really noticed is just how busy it's been this year. And it's a real step up from last year. So last year, you know, lots of great companies here, but this year we're also seeing the big, you know, the big people like Spotify, like uh, Google, being here, taking part, trying to share what they're doing with the rest of the podcast community. And that, and that that's a really exciting thing, I think, to see. It really is the first time as well. We were talking about this last night. Uh, Kieran and I were saying that, you know, when you look at the evolution of podcast movement from its, its early days, yeah. the Kickstarter in 2014, right through to Fort Worth 2015, and, and, and just the evolution of the scale of the thing. It's yeah. really impressive to see. And that's, that's actually kind of a, a nice segue into what I wanted to just chat through with you, mm. which is we, we've seen kind of the future in yeah. play. Uh, podcast movement we've seen Spotify for podcasters we've seen Zach and his Google team the Himalaya guys there are even free puppies and beer you can pet puppies and get free beer this, yes. is, a, it is, this is the future yes Apart from the puppies. Apart from the puppies, yeah. Oh, did you know they're swapping the puppies out every day as well? You've got to rest those mm. little guys. Well, I hope so. I know, you've got to rest I them. I hope so. I'm, I'm, ple- getting, I'm pleased to hear that. I hope they're getting a fair salary as well. <laughs> Let's talk about the future of it, because we're seeing yeah. this in play right now. We're seeing Spotify that wasn't even interested 18 months ago. Yeah. Where do you think this industry will be in another 18 months? What, who do we see the big players being? And in particular, one thing that I'm very curious about is who won't be here? Who's coming in? I know it's a very loaded question, but yeah. we've seen this so much in podcasting, people entering, people leaving. What kind of businesses do you think will stick and stand out for the, uh, for, for the next two yeah. to three years? I mean, I think, I think it's now a conversation around scale. It's a conversation around making sure that you are big enough to weather anything that happens over the next couple of years. Um, there are lots of very small podcast hosts around, and I'm not sure that they will survive. Um, there are lots of them you know, giving everything away for free, and that's probably not going to survive as well. So I think, you know, number one, this is a business and it needs to be a business of scale. And that's an important, uh, you know, and that's an important side to it. I also th- think actually we're probably not going to see too many companies completely disappear. But I think that we will see companies becoming less important, less um, it, it being less just about them. So Apple, for example, Apple podcasts, you know, clearly they've suddenly woken up and they've gone, oh, we, we should be doing something about this. They've been uh, present at Podcast Movement this year, which they haven't really been in the past in any public way. Um, and I think suddenly they're seeing Spotify parking, as, you know, Spotify's great big green tanks on their lawn, and they're basically going, oh, we'd better step up our game here. And I think that's um, actually very exciting for podcasting, because I think Apple have been phoning it in for the last three or four years, and all of a sudden they're there going, we've got to continue innovating, we've got to continue moving forward. I, I would echo that entirely with Apple, and I think it's, it's, it's startlingly telling the fact that Google and Spotify two of the big three if, if you like in terms of yeah. innovation in, in, in directories discoverability and, and, and consumer education those guys are here Apple aren't they're not here with a booth obviously yes. the team are here but they're, they're not they're not yeah, and the team are, and the team are here, but they're not even here on a on a public fashion in in panels and things. They're here doing their typical Apple super secret squirrel stuff of inviting certain people. Uh, they haven't invited me. I can't think why. Um, You've got your but, own film crew. Uh, How can they not invite <laughs> yes, you? <laughs> exactly. Um, but yeah, so it's that that's been interesting to uh, to to see. And and I think you know with certainty, I can say that the amount of control that Apple has over the podcast industry will continue 
to decline as we continue moving moving forward because there are so many other large companies now. I mean, Spotify is now more popular than Apple in most of Latin America, in parts of Eastern Europe, in Spain, in Malaysia, you know, in, in India, all kinds of places. And part of that is because Apple isn't on Android devices, of course, but also part of that is because Spotify is actually getting there. They've launched uh, their um, stats package fully um, in uh, this week, you know, so you can actually see more information about your listeners. Uh, it's the only platform, I think, that you can see information about, you know, whether your listeners are boys or girls, are, you know, teenagers or, or pensioners. And you can also weirdly see what music they're into. So my podcast listeners, or Pod News podcast listeners, are into Taylor Swift and Elton John, which I'm very disappointed about. I, I think, I don't I think know they all ought to try harder. I think they need maybe more <laughs> pod education in there. Maybe yes. you should try little subtleties at the bottom of pod news. So rather than the render time at the bottom, put maybe a little song that you want in there. Maybe maybe, we'll, maybe that's it. Maybe yeah. We'll, uh, if, if, uh, maybe if that's the plan. And ends, ends up reading pod news, she'll uh, she'll want Queen and Bon Jovi in there. Yes. So I'm uh, I'm looking out for that next time. Yes. Very good. I agree with that. I think it's uh, it's interesting. And and let's just kind of close out on this then. So independent podcasters, podcasters. Yeah that make up the, the vast majority of the podcast landscape. Apple has always been the bread and butter. Yeah. Spotify, hot on the heels and way ahead of them in certain areas. As we know, Google making discoverability significantly easier and also a continuation of listening. You know, you listen in a car, yeah. you continue on a Google Home and so on and so forth. And I think that's wonderful. What about indie creators? What, what do we need to do as creators to kind of help our show along because of this? Is there anything that we should be wary of? What does it mean for us? Um, I think it basically means it's going to be a little bit more complicated because you will need to be in more in more places. You'll need to make sure that Google is listing you correctly, that Spotify is listing you correctly, that Apple is listing you correctly. There are obviously great podcast hosts that will help you with that, Captivate being one of them. But I think you know that's one important sort of side uh, uh, to it. And the other side, probably the most important side, is not to just focus on Apple. I think most people here, because it's a podcasting conference, most people here have iPhones, most people here are talking about Apple Podcasts, but actually the reality is that uh, you know 74% of the world have Android phones, and actually we should be focusing more on podcasting, more on the show, and less on the on the technology and the and the platforms that we want to be on. I th uh, and I think if we bear that in mind, go where our audience is, then that's a really important thing. That is an excellent point. Definitely, definitely bearing in mind that as podcasters, iPhones are huge. I, I totally agree with that. And we see so many people coming through Captivate who are saying, actually, do you know what? My show numbers aren't going up. And you, you instantly see the only thing they're doing is just pushing yeah. through Apple. Even the subscribe links, they're not, yeah. they're not, they're not telling people anything else yeah. about the subscription links. It's just listening to Apple Podcasts. Yeah. So very valuable information. Thank you, sir. Now, I know you've got a panel to run to, so... I do. I'm talking about Google Podcasts, oddly. Oh, well, uh, it's almost like we planned that, although we didn't. That's amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's going to be fun. So, uh, yeah, and, and, you know, and, they're, and they're doing some you know, astonishing things as well. You know, and as you say, discoverability is a big part of, of, of where they are. And I think, by the way, if you are looking at Google Podcasts and you are working out total plays as a mechanism to work out whether Google Podcasts is a good thing, then you're looking at it wrong because Google, Google Podcasts is there to help people discover and find your podcast. Um, and they may not use the podcast app to listen. They may use other things. They may have an iPhone. Um, but actually, Google Podcasts, 63,000 searches per second on Google. Wow. If your podcast appears in, in just a fraction of those, then you're doing very well. Yeah. You are doing very well. And that's, an, that's another conversation I want to actually have with you a little bit later on this show around SEO for podcasting. We've, we've, we've talked about it on Rebel mm. Base Media with the blog, um, and we, we did a, a, a semi-in-depth piece on, on just an opinion piece on actually... What does this mean for search? And actually, yes. savvy podcast marketing will become, I think, very, very important. Pre-research, the old school keyword research is, yeah. is, is probably going to be... SEO is a thing which is all of a sudden hitting podcasting yeah. and making sure that you have a decent website, making sure that you have decent keywords, making sure that you are putting time codes in your, uh, in your show notes because guess what? Google might begin to understand those in the future. Uh, Google understands quite a lot of things now. Yeah. So, yeah. So 
so there's some really interesting and useful stuff in there I think you're on the money with that one I, I'm, I'm anticipating seeing something similar to the YouTube clips um, yeah. you know suggested suggested segment is this for your search queries yes indeed I yeah, love that absolutely well thank you very much so it's always a pleasure go and check out Pod News you, everyone should be subscribed to that I don't, need, I don't need to tell you that everyone should be subscribed to that James has got a very British way of approaching things and actually one of, <laughs> one of the most objective people in the industry so James thank you, thank you so much sir good luck with the panel and until next time guys Never forget, the more you expect from yourself, the more you will excel.